Hey everybody, Mobile Gamers Unite. So this is the end of Trails in the Sky and I figured we would take a second to reflect. It's been a very busy and hectic time in this game, especially the past week, and made a lot of progress. Okay, this is the alt account right now and I'm really happy about this account because we pulled Rennie and Rennie was really important to me for this account okay I mean the, this this account is stuck at the level 45 ice dragon because I just did not have any mage game and Rennie is just the cheese button on all of that she is just so awesome let me let me let me just tell you guys what I think about Rennie when I first saw Rennie and her talent and what she does and I already knew that Rennie Annihilation ignored magic defense. I took one look at her and I said, okay, wow, this is awesome. And what I thought they were going to do to um, kind of limit her a little bit, I really, really thought that Rennie's intelligence stat would be an A instead of an S because, well, she can ignore magic defense. So I would assume that they would try to cripple that stat a little bit. No. No, Rennie has an S stat for her intelligence and for her magic defense. Here she is. And that just makes her ridiculous because her intelligence is going to be one of the highest in the game along with the other mages and she just gets to ignore magic defense. Period. I mean, the, the conditions have to be right, but three buffs or three debuffs, that's not that hard to do, especially when this girl runs with Basel so that was my main plan to get her on this alt account and you know to have her in my back pocket to cheese out some single target magic damage because that is what this girl excels at doing uh, she survives and she thrives for sure single target that is her game she goes very well with Basel and I've had Basel but I haven't really had that much of a chance to use him all that much on this account okay I've been playing with you less <clears throat> and the more I play with them the more I kind of have slowly realized that there's just kind of one thing that you less doesn't really bring to the table and that is debuffs well Basel here and Rennie are debuff city so my personal plan I'm going to run uh, Landius and I'm probably going to run Rachel my six star Rachel that has this awesome magic break where uh, she breaks everybody's magic defense and everybody takes more magic damage it's pretty sweet so she effectively increases the amount of damage that mages do and she's also going to be the healer all right and then that's it for you less I'm gonna put Basel in and I'm gonna put Rennie in and then actually the the cherry on the cupcake um, I did manage to get like the little $20 grab bag and I was trying to get Listelle. Um, I've talked about getting Listelle for the alt. I just wanted a Listelle to play with on this account. I thought she would be a good fit for what I was trying to do. Well, instead, we got Lana. And I was like, man, I don't even think I could be upset about that because really now I can run Lana and I can run Basel and I can run uh, Rennie together it's debuff city it's magic damage um, tons of magic damage tons of AOE's and debuffs and then you got Rennie in there ignoring magic defense and you have Rachel supporting them with a crazy AOE uh, that lowers magic defense so you know on top of all the debuffs with Rennie, with everything going on, I think this will be a very formidable party, and I cannot wait to uh, build these characters up. But as you can see, Lana here is at 454 power, and it's going to be like that for a little while. Um, I have Rennie to build. She's going to take priority, and even Rennie is only level 48 right now. And I mean, my account is tapped the hell out. I think this one has 3 million gold left on it. And my main account is just completely tapped. But um, it was quite the journey to get Rennie. We actually pulled quite a few Leonhearts along the way. And 
I'll probably get some hate. I'm not complaining. I just, I just want to clarify. I'm not complaining about getting Leonhardt at a five star already. I don't know how many of them I pulled, like four or five of him. It was just ridiculous. Like, And I kept thinking every time, all right, this could be my Rennie, but it was Leonhardt every time. And I love I love this character for my main account because I run Empire and I have Bernie and I have you know those characters around five thousand and they're ready to go. So he's just an awesome fit on my main. But on this alt account, ah, uh, um, I also have Joshua though, you know. So I can still run uh, Landius as my tank and maybe Rachel as a healer, and then I can start bringing Joshua and Leonhard if I wanted to, but Joshua would have to throw the fusion buff. And I've been playing around with that a little bit. I still don't know how I feel about that. He can get away with it, but ah, we'll see. We'll see. I, I'm holding out on judgment on that. So, you know, I can do that. And I we, d we did pull Leon on this account, but that's it for Empire. I don't have Bernie. I don't, I couldn't really field an Empire team on this account I don't think it would be that sturdy so that's just me um, we do have Leon leveled up a little bit just for Guild Wars and stuff like that but really I I play with Leon on my main account the whole point of the alt account is to give me a different gaming experience so I'm gonna be running factions that I don't use on my main and although I have all these characters on my main account there's no way I could power them to like 5,000 you know, so that's kind of the goal of this alt account is to let me play with the newer characters and actually invest into them. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. Now, me personally, I'm glad right now that there's not a banner with other characters on it right now. It would just be too much. I think this whole Valentine's Day event that they got going is just awesome for players to fill out their rosters. Um, yeah, and it gives people like me time to kind of kick back and work on these characters that I just got. And here's Estelle, who is just, you know, I've heard mixed things about her. I have ran her, and she can be effective, and she's like this assaulting tank. Um, in fact, you, you really need to use her offensively to even really get her to tank, because her tank ability is all built into her talent, which activates, I believe, when, when she's attacking people. Let's see. Regardless, this girl has this cheer ability, which is just off the chain. She brings together any um, any party combination that you want to put together that don't share a fusion power. You got Estelle. She can give everybody 10.66% and it lasts for six turns. So it does last longer than a, a four turn fusion power. So that is pretty cool. I do see Estelle as an asset. I really do, because she's going to help Guild War a lot. She can help anything. This girl can just help out anything, just with that buff alone. She's self-sufficient. She can heal herself. She can keep the battle going. Um, she can pretty much... She can do a lot. What she can't do is take infinite damage and come back to life, like Landius can, and um, like Vargas can. And I'm kind of a huge fan of that right now. Like... <laughs> My personal criteria for a badass tank, that is so useful to be able to come back to life like that. Um, you know, I do love Bernie. He's an awesome tank. He's just the bomb. He can't come back to life. I think if they gave him that ability, he would just be too damn OP. So, um, you know, and Bernie is the tank that I run on my main account, and I'm more than happy with him. He just got upgraded, actually. My Bernie's at, like... 5,600 power, so he's doing pretty good. But over here, it's all up to Landius to tank for me, and um, I'm happy I made that choice. I really like Landius. Playing him is just awesome. He retaliates, and he does a shit ton of damage. He can have really good stats. He looks wicked. I mean, what's not to like? He's going to block magic damage, and he's going to block physical damage. Um, and he's going to retaliate, which, you know, Leaden can't do. Also, uh, Landius here can take an infinite amount of damage and come back to life. And I don't know how many skill points that costs. Um, Vargas, for Vargas, it's built into his talent, right? But Landius actually does have to give up a skill point for that. Yes, one skill point. 
I dare say that would almost be worth two, but one skill point should at least be worth one and a half. Indomitable grants 20% hit points upon taking damage that would otherwise have been fatal can be triggered once per battle. Wow. I can't wait to get that. And, you know, obviously I have the rune stones on this alt account. Uh, yeah, we will be picking that up as soon as possible. So that is the main reason why I went with Landius. He's just one of my favorite tanks along with Bernie. So this is where this account's at. I mean, like the strongest character I have on this account, they're just scraping to 4,000 right now. And <clears throat> they're gonna take a break for a second while I work on Rennie because I'd like to get Rennie to about 4,000. Um, Basel, and then also a very import, important point I would like to make, uh, I'm going to be working on Farik definitely after uh, that level 65 challenge that we did and I got to use Farik and I realized that her ability to steal people's buffs can be so ridiculous because she can just, she can steal ridiculous buffs. So when we get into some of these like level 70 battles and people just have ridiculous buffs on them. Um, you know, before you, you try to deactivate them, you could just have Farik steal some of those and then she just becomes a monster. So I think that's very useful and I'm definitely gonna build up Farik to go with Basel uh, in case I need to steal some buffs that are just ridiculous to deal with. Fight fire with fire, right? So, and then we have Olivier who was just added, um, who I just picked up. Um, where is he here? I know I summoned him already. Olivier, Oliver, whatever you want to call him. Whatever Olive you want to call him. Huh? Um, I'm going to do a video on him because he is just absolutely amazing. And specifically, IMO, in my opinion, he is amazing for Empire. So I'm going to do a video on that. That's coming. And um, I think everybody has a ton of characters to work on right now. <laughs> and I'm, I, I think that's what everybody's doing. You know, we got limited characters that we just got. So I'm kind of glad that they're not trying to force more characters down our throat. And um, this Valentine's Day thing is cool. And everybody remember that right now um, is a very good time to start working on your character bonds. Okay, they're letting us... They're letting us run bonds, what, 16 times a day now instead of eight times or whatever it is. They doubled the amount, so you can grind out twice as many shards right now. I've already uh, obviously grinded everything out for this account today. So uh, keep up on that. Do not, do not forget to, uh, to grind out some of your character shards. Last time they did this, I remember one day I forgot, I was pretty upset with myself. I was like, man, that's like... 16 shards I could have had for you know three different characters and uh, Yeah, I'm not missing it this time. So I suggest uh, you guys all go check out You know which characters you want to work on getting some shards on because right now is a good time to do that All right I'm sure people are also trying to grind out certain characters because of this whole Valentine's Day event thing I personally haven't looked too much into it because I pretty much have all the characters I want but I could totally see how everybody else might want to like fill out the roster a little bit and this gives you a pretty good chance to do that and it gives you pretty much uh, an easier way to get the hero that you want and there's some really good heroes in here um, where is it do, 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 do. not brace for force glorious love songs Oh, that's right. Okay, that's that's each of their uh, that's each of their banners. So yeah, all of these characters are amazing. Uh, Liana, Elwin, uh, Landius, who I was just talking about, and Estelle. She's just phenomenal. And of course, Lana and Leon. You you can't go wrong with any of these. So this is really cool. They're giving new players a chance to catch up and older players to kind of fill out the rosters. So I'm digging this, especially right after a limited uh, banner that most people probably spent too much damn money on, more than they wanted to. So 
Um, I think that is cool that Langrisser's kind of given us a little break to kind of catch up. Also, um, yeah, we're behind on Guild Wars just because everybody's just been logging on trying to finish up whatever they're doing. And so we got to get back into Guild War. I think we only ran it once this week. So that's what your boy's going to go do now. But I just wanted to, uh, you know, we've been talking about my, my alt account recently a lot. I've been mentioning it. This is where it's at right now. Uh, that is the magical configuration that I wanted. I wanted Rennie and I wanted Basel. And, and Lana was just like a happy freaking accident. And she managed to work her way into that equation because... I use Lana on the main, and she, it would just be stupid not to use her because she can just do so much, especially when you're talking about black hole debuffs. Um, she just compliments Basel and Rennie so much, uh, and and of course Rachel compliments all of them, so that's awesome. Um, but as far as like you know swapping some of those characters out and going a different way. I can always, I mean, I have uh, Lanford here, who is, uh, like I've said, Leon's little brother. In fact, I really like his javelin ability. For me, for me, it's just more fun to play with Lanford than Leon. Yeah, I said it. I might get crucified over it, but that's just the truth. I still use Leon on my main, um, but I do prefer playing with Lanford. He just has that awesome javelin thing going for him. I like the utility in it. Um, and I also have Joshua. And both of my accounts now have the Extreme Magic Bow. So Joshua is deadly. Even on here, he's almost at 4,000 power level. Um, oh, here's another cool thing about these new characters. Um, these limited characters, you don't need other characters to, uh, to get their bonds. And that's really cool because that's what's holding me back with uh, Cellophane, Shelfaline, Shefaniel, Sh whatever the hell you want to call her, Shellfish Girl. Um, in order to unlock her, I need her sister, Angelina, Angelica. No, it's not Angelica. It's Angelina. I need Angelina. And that, ah, man, I didn't see that coming. I completely forgot about that. So, um, but with Rennie, I don't have to worry about any of that. Like to, to get all her bond power. I think you just have to fight in the arena and do a couple, uh, easy things like that. Um, yep, yep, there's, there's nobody, you don't need any other characters to unlock, uh, her bonds, so I was pretty happy about that, and if, even if we did need other characters, this account has them all right now, well, for, for the Heroes of Time, so this account managed to pick up all of the Heroes of Time so far, which is really cool and really unexpected, um, and I'm still going to run Yules, though, just because I... Landius is just that awesome, all right? And personally, and Rachel, too. And my Rachel's at a six-star. So I'm going to be running Yules. The question is, what do I want to take alongside of Yules? And I'm either going to run uh, Dark Reincarnate for Basel and uh, Lana, um, or I'll just take more uh, Yules characters. I mean, I also have a pretty powerful Luna. I haven't put that much work into her. She's still at 4,000. So yeah, everybody on this is right at around 4,000. And it's a pretty easy point to get stuck on in the game. <laughs> but from four to 5,000, that's when the real grind begins. And then from five to 6,000 is, man, that is the grind that is, uh, that is on my main account right now. So, but I do have Lanford. And I have some options to put in, so I'm going to be busy just trying to figure stuff out. I also have Altamuller on here. You know, if I really need a flyer to throw in there while I'm running Basel, um, I can throw Altamuller in there. But then again, that's starting to resemble my main account too much. And that's part of the reason why I haven't really been running Altamuller as much. Instead, I, I went with Luna. So... But definitely, uh, you know, Basel's just that awesome. You can't shake him. If I have to use Basel on both, I'll use Basel on both. But the main reason why I started this account is because I wanted to, um, I wanted to uh, rock out with Landius and Rachel. So uh, that hasn't changed. They are the core of this account, especially Rachel being six stars and all. 
So that's where we're at on the alt. I figured I would just shoot a video real quick while I was getting on here and getting into the daily grind. Um, but yeah, I'll be doing a video on Olivier real soon for Empire. And Olivier is awesome for just anyone. But for Empire, I think he just compliments them the most. So I um, hope you like the video. Enjoy the rest of your day. And have an awesome day every day. I'm one click away. Peace.